we will step into the resources module and the timeline is exactly the same as on the Gantt chart module, which means that the plan which we have created, the master plan, will have its effect on this overview, but in a slightly different form. Everything here is grouped by assignee field. But at the same time, the scope is exactly the same. So next step for big picture is to show you whether somebody's over allocated, under allocated, or what's the status in general. This is the orange color, which tells us Monica De Santos on this day is allocated between 75% of her capacity and 100. Anything above the 100 goes to red. This is a ticket which has an original estimate one week, four days. Remaining one week, logged work one day. And the estimates are coming from the original estimate, but they don't have to. They can be taken from the remaining estimate or from story points for the agile folks. When the original estimate is one week, four days, it means that ideally this person needs one week and four days to finish the task on time. And the way that Big Picture behaves is it divides the effort, which is original estimate, by the duration. Duration is taken from the plan. So for example, now the duration is four days, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Now the duration is one week, four days. And still something is not quite right. This is because the ticket is assigned to Eileen Takorino. And Eileen Takorino is available four hours on Monday, four hours on Friday, and eight hours for the rest of the days. Which means that even though uh, the calculation says she has to work eight hours per day, it will not, it will not fully work for her because she's working 24 plus eight, 32 hours, but weekly it's, it's more than that. And to see that we will switch to aggregation weekly and then we will see that she's weekly available 32 hours. So we will have to spread it across more days and the numbers will go down because she has more time now and she will feel more comfortable and adjusted. So now we can see exactly how many hours per week she has to work to finish the task. And it's one task in case of multiple, it is just summed up. And it's very easy to detect that, oh, if I would give her also this, then she's overloaded. I have to give it to someone else. I have to find someone. The alternative is for resources to look at the remaining estimate or story points instead of original estimate. But the idea is exactly the same. We divide equally the effort over the duration. So the question um, also about the tempo together, in the big picture enterprise only, uh, there is an integration with Tempo, which synchronizes big picture teams, resources, workload plans, and holiday plans to big picture, which helps you in the resource management. Resources by default work in the individual's overview, but they can also work in team's overview. And teams is a slightly different story. So to get into that, let me tell you more about the teams. Teams is a big picture concept. We, we have two types of teams, the local ones, which are available only in a program. You create them once, you use them in a program and they cannot be reused anymore in other areas, in other programs. And whenever adding a new person to the team, you define when this person joins the team, what is the percentage of availability, and then there she goes. For situations where somebody will leave the team at a known date, 
please just put in availability zero and she becomes unavailable. And this has direct impact on the capacity of the team. Let's check his weekly availability. It's 32 hours for big demo user. Now, if I were to change his allocation to 50%, and this allocation is done from 2011, then from 32, we have changed the allocation to 50%, which is 16. But there we have also global teams. Global teams are managed globally by Big Picture Administrator, and they can be reused once created. So now, so one other important detail of a team is its code. The code is used for integrating with Jira. And how, you may ask? Well, basically, whenever you have a task, and it's, let's just say that it's not assigned to anyone, it's unassigned, Big Picture allows you to assign it to the team first without assigning a person to it. Then what we have to do to assign it to a team is drag and drop it to the team analysis row. And let's say they will have to do it here. Everything is in green, so they are not overloaded. And the effect on the Jira issue is that custom field will be set to the value of the team code. It's not the team name, it's the team code. And it's analysis, which is the team code of this team. The alternative configuration, the configuration which is set up by default, is that team, is that big picture will use the labels in such fashion. Team hashtag analysis. This is the default behavior, but to make it more um, structured in your Jira data, uh, there is the possibility to switch it to the custom field of type select, list, single choice. And the difference between the individuals and the teams is that here rows are teams and the team has a capacity which is combined capacity of all of the members. Individuals, they all speak on their own. With Big Template, there is a possibility to export this overview to Excel with all the numbers. And you have, you can show multiple things. You can hide the tasks just to focus on the numbers or you can show the remaining capacity. This will not show you how, much, how many hours are allocated. This will show you how many hours are missing. Here we are missing four hours, 13.7. And there is also the possibility to show the capacity. This shows you this gray row where you see numbers uh, which show you what is the possibility to fill it up to. With Big Picture Enterprise, you can actually show tasks from all programs. What it does, it shows you those ghost tasks. These are the ones which are dimmed and they are coming from other programs. So you could say that now we have a system-wide overview cross-checked and we can see what is the actual allocation after we are doing a cross-check examination. So this is a truly true overview from all programs. Showing warnings will do some type of assistance for you. Depending on the situation, it will either um, mention that there is no estimate or the task assigned to the, um, to the ticket uh, the, the team which is assigned to the ticket has no assignee which is assigned to this ticket. So Albingo is not in the team analysis. So there is the warning. And it basically assists you. Here you have possibilities to switch between different months. And in case for, for performance reasons, we limit the number of tasks which you can see. And if you happen to be in that situation, we'll show you a button which will allow you to load more and show more data. 
But there is even further another dimension, and this is the skills. Skill management can be done with another attribute, which is the big picture skill available here. Here you can select, for example, choosing manufacturer. Oh, project manager definitely has to do this. By selecting the skill here, you, you just dedicated this task to a project manager but you didn't dedicate it to a specific person, it just says project manager will have to take care of it, any. Which in turn adds the required availability of a project manager here at the bottom. And this is where these numbers come from. So we are missing seven and a half hours of a project manager in this week and 70 in this week. So we have to redistribute our work so that Skill-based planning tells us everything is in good place. All of the quick filters still work on the resources. That's why I'll, I always recommend using them and remembering about them.